Hey everyone. So I've been promising that I would do this tutorial on the, um, if you'll look back in some of my videos, on the wedding mini album. I had a little, I had a page that had a, a layered cake on it. And I finally found my template. I was paying some bills yesterday and <laughs> why, I don't know why, but my template was in that stack of bills. So I found it and that is what we're going to make today. So I went ahead, since I, I no longer have the album in my possession, as I, I went ahead and just made another one. Um, this is ready to just put on the inside of a mini album. This, of course, is done differently. It isn't in a, a wedding cake thing, but I kind of did it to where you could see where you could do it for any kind of cake, birthday cake, just or just cake in general. So it's however you want to decorate it and whatever kind of um, papers that you want to use. So just a reminder, if you didn't see that video, this is how it works. Um, you pull the top layer out and you can put a picture here and here and then you can open this it has a magnet closure on it and you can write something here if you'd like or do whatever and then another little place for a picture here and here and so then this just tucks back down in here like this and closes up and then as this comes down it it tucks and my card's stiff. The more you work it, the more it'll loosen up. But it tucks right in behind your second tier here. So this is what we're going to make today. Now, I'm not going to decorate it and all that. I'm going to give you the basics, and then you can just run with it. And I have this quilt here to kind of cover up my desk. I didn't have time to clean off my desk, too, because it's a mess under there. So what we're going to need what you're going to need and I suggest that you use um, the heavier weight cardstock on this just for durability with you pulling it in and out um, just to heavier weight cardstock this is the heavy weight cardstock that you can get from Michaels or Hobby Lobby that I'm using for my back piece um, this isn't as heavy as this one um, you know just a I think this is a maybe a Stampin' Up or a Basil cardstock, so it isn't that heavy, but it isn't the paper thin either. So I, th I think that it will work for this. So you will need two sheets that are uh, five and a half by five and a half, one for your, the back cover and one for the front, which will be this part here where the red is. Um, and then let's just go from there. That way we won't get, we won't get confused. So after you have your two bases cut, what you're going to need to do is, on the back side of your, um, on the back side of your top sheet, top piece of cardstock, you're going to flip it over because we're going to make some lines. And I'm going to do this with you and hopefully I can get this in under 50 minutes. So you're going to measure from the top down. Okay, so I'm going to say this is my bottom and this is my top. So from the top down, you're going to measure a fourth of an inch and just make some little tick marks fourth of an inch on both ends. Okay, let me erase that one. That way it won't confuse you. Just like that. So a fourth of an inch down. Then we're going to measure a fourth of an inch in. So be like that and you already have so it will look like this now this one over here is 
it lined up a little bit better, but that doesn't matter because this is when I placed it on there to do my fourth of an inch, I had it lined up. So you see it's fourth of an inch down and then fourth of an inch in. So in between the lines that I have this way, which was the fourth of an inch in, I am going to draw a line from here, from this one, to this one, leaving a fourth of an inch on either side. No, I think I got off just a little bit there. Whoops! This is live, people. This is a new ruler. I had my old wooden ruler for probably 20 years and it had just had it. So that's what it will look like. Just inside to inside there. Then we're going to drop down an inch and a half from this line down. From the line you just drew down. Hopefully that's in frame. From the line you drew down and make another tick mark. And then same thing, a fourth of an inch in. And make a tick mark. And then a fourth of an inch on this side as well. So that's, again, I did it over here. The line going up is a fourth of an inch in, and then that line is one and a half inches down. So I'll put that, I'll just write that on here so you can see one and a half inches down. Then we're just going in between there from this tick mark to this tick mark that goes up we're going to draw another line. Hopefully I can get it straight this time. Yep. So there you go. That's all that you do. So now what I do is I take, I have this little bitty hole punch. I don't know if you can see just how tiny it is. It's this small. So I'm going to take that and, oh, I need to clean this thing out. Sorry. And on the very end over here, boy, those things are going everywhere. On the very end, um, I'm going to make a hole here and here as well as on the ends of these. And try to center it as best you can. Like so. Hopefully you can see that. And I I don't know what size punch that is. This is a, well, I don't know. It doesn't have the brand on it. have no idea. I've had it for years. I'm sure that they still make it, though. But they're just teeny tiny little things. There. Okay. So then what I'm going to do is I am going to, with my X-Acto knife, is I'm going to cut right along that line. From, I'm going to cut right along the line from this hole to this hole, but no further. And what, it, what I'm what I'm doing is just opening that up to where, um, 
whoops, to where um, it will slide. See, I cut right along that. So then I'm going to drop down just, just a, a little bit to make the opening just a tad bit larger. Well, I don't think this is... I don't think that this ruler is going to last very long either because I keep cutting into it. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, lordy. Let's see. There. So, let's see. Can you see that? How it's a groove. So then we need to do the same thing down below. Just open it up. And that is all that I cut out. Just a little sliver like that. So now that we have that done, we're ready to go ahead and put it on our card. And I think, you can see right here, I think that this one right here may need to be opened up just a tad bit wider because I like this width better than this one so I'm going to go ahead and, and do that open it up just a little bit more and if you're really good with scissors or you know you could put this in your uh, which is probably what I should have done. Oh. No, nope. I can't do that with those big scissors. I think I'm going to be on the hunt for another ruler again. I have the Tim Holtz one, but for some reason I can't get used to it. I like seeing all of the sixteenths of an inch, and it doesn't show it on that. So anyway, that one's a little bit wider than the than the other one, but I'm okay with that. If you can see, I think it's a little bit wider. No, I guess they're okay. So like that. Now on the back side of it, I'm going to use some quarter inch um, double sided tape and go all the way around. So there you go. I went all the way around with it. So I'll just burnish that down real good. Peel it off.
and there you have it. There it is. And this pucker, sorry, I didn't mean to move you. This pucker just a little bit, but that's fine because that means that it's it will naturally want to open up like that. But I'm going to go ahead and burnish down again my edges like so. So we have that made. Now, the next thing that you need is, I don't think we need that anymore. The next thing that you will need to make your two photo tiers here is you will need one piece of cardstock and I am using the heavyweight again that is six and three fourths by four and three fourths. You'll need one of those and then you'll need one that is five inches by four and three fourths and that will be our second tier. So I'll go ahead and start on the first tier first and we're going to on the five inch side on the five inch side we're going to score at one and three fourths right here so just score it at one and three fourths and then on the um, second tier no this is our first tier sorry this is our second tier. This is our first tier. The first tier is six and three fourths by four and three fourths. The second tier is um, five by four and three fourths. So this is our first tier, and we're going to put it in on the six and three fourths inch side and score it at one and seven eighths, right there. And for those of you who don't know what that is I know some will laugh but it's the little notch right before your two if that helps on your scoring board if you're using your cutting board um, well I'd have to show you okay so we're just gonna fold these over There's first tier and second tier. Now we have to cut them out. Now on this, on this one right here, I didn't use any um, card stock in behind because I had a full sheet of paper. I'm using scraps for mine. So um, I'll give you the measurements that will cover this exactly here. But since I was using scraps, I had to double layer mine a little bit. And so for our first tier here, we need a piece of cardstock that is one and seven eighths by one and seven eighths by two and three fourths. And I'm doubling mine because I only, I mean, like I said, I'm just using scraps on this one to show you all. But to cover the entire piece, like on, like on this one. Um, it's one and seven eighths by two and one and seven eighths by two and three fourths. If you want to do it like I'm doing it here, you just cut down just a little bit, like a fourth of an inch on either side, and you're good to go. So let me go ahead and um, let me go ahead and get this on, and I'm just going to use my tape for this. Oh, I'm going around my corners. Oh, this is going to be a mess. 